I look at this wall, at all your what achievements. Is it, what is it giving you? I, honestly, it's goals. It's inspiration, yes. you know, because this is clearly a passion and a labor of love for you, but you've turned it into like a thriving business, and you know? I had no idea this would be happening. But would you've happen. also shared it too. You yeah. brought people in and, you know, the Conspiracy Palette launch wasn't that long ago. No. And obviously so much has changed between yeah. you and Shane. Yeah. Um, you know, what did you think of Shane's departure from YouTube? Um, and where do things stand with you two now? Hi! 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 Hi. 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 We're still really great friends. Yeah. Um, I know he's not very active on social media. Lately he is, I'm right. really excited. You know, I think he took a really long break um, and I'm proud of him for doing a lot of self-reflection as well. Mm -hmm. Those are the two words of the day. Right. But um, he's doing really great. We're really great friends. We always will be. Um, and we're so proud of our collection. Yeah. It's crazy how the collection happened and then the pandemic hit. So it came we, at the right time. It did. It really, really it, did. It was yeah. wild. I need to take a time out and all of this has been way, 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 way bigger than I think anyone could have ever imagined. Hi all, James here. Um, I'm currently traveling abroad and just woke up, but I wanted to sit down and make a video addressing everything that's going on right now. Without getting into too many details, just like rapid fire quickly. Yes. You know, where does your relationship stand with Tati Westbrook right now? Oh, okay. Uh, zero. Zero, no yeah, relationship. No relationship. <laughs> James Charles. Zero. Zero. So I, I haven't I haven't seen either of them in probably two years now. Yeah, and that's probably been the best for you mentally. I think so. Yeah, yeah. to kind of step away from the beauty community and everything that was happening. That's right, girl. Absolutely. I want to talk about Pride Month. Obviously, Pride Month. I, I mean, Pride I feel like has evolved so much over the years, it has, and now things are opening up. They are. They're We're opening just so up. We're just so excited. We, I know. We need community. You know. We do. I'm curious. What does Pride mean to you these days? Oh, I love that question. It really means freedom mm. and really accepting who you are and being able to be yourself. Mm -hmm. And I think that's always been my biggest message. Um, growing up, I never felt like I fit in and pride was not um, really prominent in right. where I'm, I'm from, Orange County. And mm. so there wasn't a lot of that. So I would escape and go to LA when I was younger and find all the cool gay clubs yeah. and people and shows and just feel accepted for the first time. Do you remember your first pride? I do. What was it? I'm okay. Ooh, she's she's talking. <laughs> was it in California? She's aging herself right now. No, no, no. Uh, it was in California. It was, it was in um, Long Beach. Okay. Oh my God. Long I've been Beach to that Pride. Pride. Long Beach Pride is. But but ready for this? What? 2003. Okay. So what was a 2003 Pride in Long Beach like? Um, it was actually really loud yeah. and proud. And Long Beach has always been, I think, a really cool hub for the LGBT community, mm. especially in California. Yeah. Um, and I remember just feeling like, wow, there's people. Like there's guys in makeup, there's drag queens, there's so many different walks of life that you don't normally just see going out to the grocery store. Yeah. Which, that was me, being a guy in makeup, like, wow, there's no one else like me. So to go to a place where everyone just was full of love and mm. no one judged me mm. meant, I think, more to me than I ever knew back then. And now that there's gonna be hopefully more in-person Pride events this year, yes, I can imagine yes, the little gabies out there experiencing their first yes, Pride, you know? and I think that's so special. Yeah, yeah, it is. What advice do you have for the queer youth out there, especially those who might be struggling finding their place in yeah. this world? I think, oh, that's a, that's a really good one. I think for me specifically, I had to be patient, mm -hmm. which is really hard, right? Um, and find people that really accept you for who you are, um, and I think that's so important. Yeah. Um, so be strong. Um, never change who you are, because so many people tried to tell me, "Oh, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't wear makeup. This is too feminine, or this is too that." And I think it was so important to just stick to who I really wanted to always be. Yeah. And I think that everyone should do that as well. Look what happens when you live your truth. Okay. Okay. Fully. Look what fully, actually. Yeah. A hundred percent.